Welcome back everyone, Killer NC here, back with another video. And today we're going to do the unboxing on the Scarlett Solo 2nd generation USB audio interface. Let's go. So currently right now I'm using my Astro microphone to record audio both with PC and my PS4 and if you guys saw my Astro video I don't really like using my Astros for my PC gaming I have a ton of other headphones as you guys could have seen with all my unboxings lately so I need something that's going to record quality audio for me and I'm looking to get the Blue Yeti and the new one has the half inch adapters so we're going to go ahead and need one of these bad boys. So I shopped online, read reviews, did my homework, and this Scarlet Solo seems to be the best one out there for the price. Now I grabbed this from Amazon. It's 99 bucks. I'll have a link in the description at the bottom if you want to go ahead and grab it. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what we have inside. So the Scarlet Solo 2nd generation 2 in 2 out USB audio interface. Now, this is going to be my first audio interface, so I hope I made the right choice, which is going to have to find out. All right. Right when we open the box, we have instructions right on the actual box. Um, not sure how I feel about that since I like to put my boxes away and I might need to come back and resort to the instructions. But we'll go ahead and manage. Let's go ahead and pull this out. All right guys, so here we have the Scarlet and we'll start going from the left to the right, see what options we have. So here we have the XLR. Then we have two gain knobs and from the reviews, if you go over your peak, the little circle uh, light will go ahead and turn red. So that's definitely a bonus. Then you have your half inch jack input. You have your line or instrument. So I, more likely we'll keep it in line um, not really into the whole guitar or anything like that so um, but if you are there you go then we have the volume knob and actually feels pretty good quality then we have to the right we have our direct monitor in case you want to hear yourself while you're recording to make sure that it's uh, the quality is what you want then we have our uh, headphone jack in case you want to hear yourself with the monitoring so the quality feels really good it's this metal plate um, it has some weight to it and so here we are in the back and we have our USB port then we have our line outputs. We have the right and the left in case you want to hook up some speakers to it. So let me go over the features that it states on the list and just in case I forgot some. Like I said, this is my first audio interface. So I definitely want to give you guys all the information that I can. So features, one natural sounding Scarlett mic preamp with plenty of even gain, one newly designed instrument input designed to handle seriously hot guitar pickups. Class leading conversion and sample rates up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit, super low latency for using your plugins in real time without the need for DSP, measured at 2.74 milliseconds working at 96 kilohertz with a 32 samples buffer. Hope you guys know what that meant. <laughs> Moving on, stereo line outputs on RCA Fano for connecting to home speakers. One headphones output with gain control. It's compatible Windows 7 and higher and also Mac OS X 10.10 and higher. Includes Pro Tools. All right, so that was a quick unboxing. I'm not very familiar with these right now, 
but I'm definitely trying to get involved. I hear great things about these audio interfaces and I'm gonna go ahead and start looking for that microphone to be able to use the XLR function and get that clarity in. All right, so if you guys have any suggestions of what kind of microphone you guys think would fit better with this Focusrite audio interface, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.